a navel mine, that would be terrifying. Like imagine if you're the parent and you're just like, let's go to the beach and you see that. You're like, never mind, let's go home. Because even now in France and places where um, like the world wars happen, there's still people digging up bombs and dog tags and paraphernalia from the war in their back garden um, or like on the way home. Apparently people used to just like dump stuff off at the side of the road to be picked up. And the thing with landmines or like bombs in general, they can go off at any time because of course that would have been tied to a chain at the bottom of the ocean or like near areas where submarines would be passing through. So hope, so hopefully from the enemy standpoint or whoever was using that, submarines would pass by and knock it and then it would explode, creating a chain reaction with all the other ones around it. So it's like one balloon pops and the rest of them pop. So this one still could be active which is the most terrifying part about this naval mine. Ooh, uh, right? Australia continues to be one of the scariest places in the world in terms of finding weird things in the sand. In this case, a shark was found by a man named Shane who is walking on the beach with his family. Two seconds into the video, you'll see the unmistakable white underside Damn. of a juvenile great white shark they are born four to five feet long and can only last minutes out of the water. Run, so run, he doesn't run, have run, long run. to <laughs> like, As soon as you get into the water, just like, book it, book it, get out of the way. Cause you want that thing to kill you. Though that thing is pretty tiny, little baby, little baby, baby shark, doo -doo 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 -doo. baby shark, doo -doo 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 -doo. Lucy hates me, doo -doo 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 -doo. she hates it so much. <laughs> yeah, uh, baby shark, that's what that is. Um. I think it's nice that the guy saved him. It would be pretty terrifying seeing a beached shark, though they can't really do anything to you. But also that guy has to be super strong because he would be so heavy. Like they're just entirely muscle and blubber. So good for him. Hey everyone, I'm Rachel Fisher. And today we are covering 10 scary things found at the beach on Central Dark. So I'm super excited. You know, I was really looking forward to going on vacation after this whole lockdown COVID situation is done. But I feel like after today, I, I'm not gonna wanna do that. Cause beaches, man. <laughs> anyway guys, let's get started. Apollo 11 engines were found on a beach. That's so neat. That would be the dream. That would be a dream for any kid obsessed with space. Just go to the beach one day and not a landmine, but they find the Apollo space engines and they're just like, whoa, mom, look. They, they try and make them land in the ocean. That's what I'm trying to say. That's really interesting. Oh man, oh, the, oh, that would be that would be really cool. I'd love to touch something that went into space. That'd be so surreal, so surreal. It would make it real for sure. Antikythera, Antikythera mechanism, the Antikythera. The Antikythera mechanism, JPEG. I think this is really, really interesting because they used to think that this was a nautical device called an astrolabe, I believe, um, but it's not that. So, but it, they they know it's an it's a nautical device of some kind, but they haven't been able to distinguish what the purpose was. Um, but it's super, 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 super old too, and it's I think it doesn't align. I could be wrong. I welcome correction. I think it doesn't align with the kind of technology that would have been available around the time period it's dated to. I need to look that up again. But super creepy artifact. We have no idea what we were like thousands of years ago, but we keep on searching. Oh, we have some idea. A bunch of shoes. Really good looking shoes too. Are they? They look like indoor soccer cleats. Yeah, or they're soccer cleats. They're not just shoes, they're soccer cleats. Well, some of them are anyway. That's so weird. Who would just, who would just look? No, it would be even creepier if each one was like just the right or just the left like shoe of that pair, you know? Like you couldn't match any of these shoes. That would be so annoying. Unless you wanted to go with like a mix match Zara style, you know? That's so strange. I don't even know. Scary moments are caught on camera at a beach in Brazil. Oh my god. Is that a... 
It's called a water spout, what? and these are the final moments before it's caught on tape, sending a crowd of beachgoers running for their lives. Everyone is safe this time, but that's, that's not always so the case. That's so scary. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's awful. Oh my god, that's awful. I hope they're okay. Jeez, that's terrifying. I can't imagine that happening. I mean, of course, I don't live near too big of a body of water, but that that's just... Oof, I hope those people are okay. Uh, that would be absolutely terrifying to experience. I would be running so fast, and it's so hard to run on sand, too, because your feet just sink into it. Uh, great for your calves, though. Oh, it's a, just an abandoned boat. Oh, man. That is kind of creepy, especially if you think, like, that looks pretty good. Like, that ship looks like it's in a... Looks like it's in ship shape a little bit, so... And it's tied off to something, so the fact that it's abandoned might not be quite true, but... I mean, it could be abandoned. If it is, I would, I would still take that out to sea, man. If you're not using it, I'll take it. Jack Sparrow, where are you? I'm in. I'm in. Oh god, those all look like spider balls. They all look like spider balls. Oh wait, there's snowballs? <laughs> spider balls. I meant like, you know, spider nests when they're like all white and fluffy and they kind of look like little marshmallows, but they're actually spider nests. And imagine if that's what this is. But I think there's snowballs and they're all perfectly shaped, so I think we're coming across a penguin battle. The penguins versus the polar bears. You know, that's what's happening. The photographer interrupted the whole thing. You know, that's nuts. But these are the ice rocks now, most likely. I, oh, but you can see footprints. You can see footprints all around, along the beach. So that could have been the photographer or it could be the people. It could have, they could have just been people making snowballs and they just want to make like thousands of snowmen. That, that's probably what's happening. Yep. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you like this video, like, subscribe, and follow for more. Uh, until next time, I will see you around, and please take care. Move on, life would be a dream. Do -do -do -do. A lot of landmines are actually found in, like, in France that are, like, where, where homes live. What? I can't word today. Okay, so... Just think of that scene in Finding Nemo where they all like swim and they're like, oh, don't worry, there's just, what? <laughs> you know, that scene in Finding Nemo where the shark's taking Nemo and, Nemo? Ugh. Wait, I'm positive. Don't ever try and pick it up. Why is he talking like that? Ugh. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you want to feel anything? Uh, that he just made me less scared of that creature because of the way he was talking. It was so funny. Oh, did I forget to do the intro? I totally did. Again!